Welcome to the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, feminazis think hugging is sexual. As much as MGTOW claims, I do not criticize feminazis. They obviously haven't seen any of my past videos. So here's another anti-feminazi video I am making. Apparently, a feminazi named Clementine Ford thinks that an innocent hug is somehow sexual assault. This is completely insane because whenever I hug a friend or family member, there is no sexual feelings. A hug is just a hug. It is not sexual assault. If hugging was a sexual assault, then why do straight men hug each other? Because there is nothing sexual about hugging a friend or a family member. Clementine thinks that the grandfather is bribing her daughter by trading blowing bubbles for hugs. She thinks it teaches her daughter that women feel they should owe men something. That is not the case at all. I think Clementine's problem is that she sees everything as sexual assault when it comes to men. Was she molested by her father? Is that why she doesn't want her dad hugging her daughter? If so, then I can understand. But if not, not, then what's her fucking problem? Obviously, she trusts him enough to be around her daughter, but again, she thinks it teaches her daughter she owes men something, but she's wrong. If anything, he is teaching her consent, because if people were to hug or touch someone without consent, then we have a problem. Even I have the habit of asking a friend for a hug before hugging them, because I usually say, Say, can I get a hug? I do this out of respect. She thinks hugs are not negotiable. Does she think that people are okay with being hugged without consent? Some people could be in a bad mood. The last thing they need is a hug by surprise. I remember how startled I was when a female friend hugged me from behind at a concert. I was not expecting it, but luckily I was in a good mood. The thing is that consent is needed for a hug. So what? While hugs may not be sexual, having consent to hug is a sign of respect to each other's personal space. Hell, there's a reason why I ran an anti-school website. Teachers have touched me without their consent. They violated my personal space in order to restrain me and lock me up in a small room. This one female teacher even put her hand over my mouth, which made it hard for me to breathe because I was always breathing through my mouth instead of my nose at the time. I was so pissed off at her that I even got her in trouble with the school, so she got fired from her job after the incident. This happened back when I was 12 years old, back in 1994. After she was fired, things started getting better in class, since we were down to having one teacher instead of two. Not only did my behavior improve, but eventually I would be allowed to attend a normal school again. Point being that consent is important. Trading hugs for blowing bubbles is completely innocent, especially since the grandfather is not a sexual predator, since he never sexually abused his own daughter. By the way, if you go to the website linked in the description below, you will see that 94% of people disagree with her radical views on hugging being sexual assault. Only 5% agreed with her, and 1% said they were not sure. It does not take a rocket scientist to see how dumb it is to consider hugging as sexual assault. That's all I have to say. Tune in next time for more truth, logic, and common sense. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.